Hello and good morning. So for today's uh, lab session, I'm going to show you how to use the Android intent in order to show location on the Google Map. So uh, you can create a basic application like this or a sub activity that show a location like this. And then you create button and the user click the button. It will open up a Google Map and then zoom into the location. So I'm going to show you how to do this uh, easily and as fast as possible. If you find this video is too fast to you, feel free to use the video slider to rewind back to the point that I've shown you certain code or point of interest. Or you can use the video speed control on the YouTube to slow down or fast forward the video uh, at your own comfort. Okay, to start with this project, okay, start with an empty activity. So you can name any any of your application. Okay, rename it accordingly. And then ensure that uh, it is all loaded. Okay, for this activity also, we will be using this uh, Google documentation for our references. Google Map Intense for Android. So let's look uh, on our code. I'm going to show this as simple as possible and as easy as possible. Okay, let's create simple interface. You can put any type. Okay, let's say that you want to create a location, your own location. Okay, let's say that you want to create a warung makiah location. You put here the size, okay, the IT or SP. Okay. And then you can put in the location over here, small, right? The text over here, okay, can be in Arau or Perlis or any desired location that you want it to be put on. Okay, a bit larger. So don't, don't forget to set constraint. You can readjust this as long as you are comfortable. And then create a button. Okay, just like this. I want to set the screen over here to make it easier for the button to be uh, shared. So you can type in the name to the text to our location. Okay, now we are finished with uh, our uh, interface. Okay, and then you can also make this uh, match, uh, match parent, right? Match parent like this uh, as a good way to design the UI. A good practice. In the IT. In left. In the IT. Okay, so we are finished over here. So let's go to the main activity. So because we are only having one button, so we just declare the button. Okay, import the class. Then you can have button over here. Button find view by id r dot id dot button. Right. Okay. Where do I get this id? So you can go over here, click here, and then take a look at the button id. The button id is the top. Okay. The id of the button is button. And then don't forget to create. Uh, or to implement uh, the on-click listener. Okay, on-click listener. And then alternate enter to implement the methods. So on-click. Okay, because you only have one button, you do not have to do switch case as in previous video. So you just start uh, uh, coding over here. And then you just link this button to this on-click listener. By typing button dot set on click listener this. 
Right. Okay, next, uh, we just have to refer to the uh, Google Map Intent. So just read how to use the Google Map Intent. Okay, this is the documentation for Java. Okay, and then it asks us to create a URI and then create the intent with uh, action view. And then you view it with the URL and then you set the package uh, for Google Maps. So uh, this is uh, pretty straightforward. Okay, straightforward enough. Okay, it is straightforward enough uh, to use. So you can use the Joe. And then if you want to create a uh, label it, you have to use Q. Right, um, okay, Google Maps map. Okay, how to use them? Uh, it's simple. So you only have to copy and paste this, right, inside the uh, code. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do this, right? Okay, everything should be in order. Okay, you need to go to the Google Map, okay, like this. You choose an area that you want to put the marker. I try to choose uh, this location. You click this location and then you take a look at the latitude and longitude coordinate and then copy and paste it into your uh, application in this Google Map. Right? Then ensure that there are no spaces in between latitude and longitude. Okay, next, uh, what you need to do is to put over here a query, right? A query. And then you uh, press plus. And then you type uri.pass. Okay, and then you paste back the URL, uh, sorry, the coordinate. And then you put in the label. Okay. Right, let's say that, okay, something like this. Okay, put on the label. Okay, like this. Okay. Then just press play okay, to see the resulting in action. And then you click the button and it should show the label. All right, it should show the label. Okay. Try to show this again. Okay. It should show the label. Okay. Because it's nearing uh, Damai Cafeteria and it will show the Damai Cafeteria. Right. Okay, show the label on where the location is. It's supposed to be. Okay, let's say that if you want to change the location, you can also change to other location. Okay, just like this one. Okay, Jalan Bunga Angsana. Okay, you can change this location to this, right? To this. And then you click uh, copy. And then put it inside uh, the, your put. Ensure that there is no uh, pieces. And then you re update back. You get your location. Okay, this one I'm going to zoom. And this is the label, right? Okay, the label. So that's all for our lab session today. Hopefully, you will learn something new about linking your Android intent from your application to the Google Map. So using it is easy. You can put in the marker over here, and then your user can press the direction. And then you can start uh, going to the, the user can start navigate to the location okay, with relative ease. Hopefully this will help you in creating your own application that are dynamic 
and deal with uh, the location effectively. We see you back on the next lab segment.